on behalf of 24HourAnswers.com, I welcome you to today's lesson. In this video, we're going to look at a related rates problem that deals with a rope on a pulley, but this is the same idea as the fishing line problem as well. You may see one or both of these in your calculus course. A rope on a pulley system is pulling a large cargo ship to a dock. The pulley system reels the rope in at a rate of 4 feet per second. The pulley system sits on the edge of a dock 144 feet above the surface of the water. Assuming the rope latches to the cargo ship where the bow meets the water, how fast is the ship moving when the ship is 240 feet from the dock? I have a picture down here already set up with some pieces of information. We have a right triangle. Here's our rope. Here is the post or something that this pulley up here sits on. And notice the pulley is 144 feet above the surface of the water here. I've called this length here Y. The distance that the boat is from the dock is going to be X and our rope here is R. Now, I also have dr dt. The rate of change of this rope is going to change at a rate of 4 feet per second based on what the problem says. And since the rope is being reeled in, we use a negative 4 because the length of this rope is getting shorter. That's why we have a negative there. Now, over here where we have the pulley sitting at the top of this post or whatever it may be, dy dt is going to be equal to 0. And the reason why this length here never changes is because the pulley is attached up here and this length is never going to change. So the rate of change of y with respect to time is zero. That's going to be very helpful right here in a moment. Now down here at x, that's what we're actually trying to find. Uh, technically not x, but we're trying to find dx dt. And the reason why we're looking for dx dt is because it says how fast is the ship moving when the ship is 240 feet from the dock. So at the point when this ship is 240 feet from the dock, now this distance is going to change because the ship could have been way out here and it's going to get pulled in, pulled in. And right here when it's 240 feet, at what rate, dx dt, the rate of change of x with respect to time, that's going to tell you how fast this ship is moving towards the dock. Now this is going to be a negative rate as well because this distance is getting shorter just like the rope. But we can answer that in more detail towards the end of the problem. We have a right triangle, so therefore x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. And let's go ahead and differentiate this, and then we'll talk about how we can plug some of these numbers in and also finding some missing pieces. The derivative of all of these terms with respect to time, x squared, its derivative is going to be 2x, don't forget your dx dt, plus y squared, its derivative is 2y dy dt, and the same thing goes for r, 2r dr dt. So don't forget to tack on your dt pieces each time because all of these variables are changing with respect to time. However, recall we said that this y piece here, dy dt, is going to be equal to zero. So if we plug zero into this spot, it's going to knock out this entire term, which is very helpful because it just eliminates part of our problem. That leaves us with this, 2x dx dt is equal to 2r dr dt. Let's plug in what we have and let's see what we have missing and we may have to find something else right here in a moment. 2x dx dt, well we know that x at some point the distance from the boat to the dock is going to be 240 feet so I'm going to plug that into x. dx dt is what we're looking for, that's how fast this boat is moving towards the dock, is equal to 2r dr dt. Now we don't have an r anywhere up here do we? However, we can go back to our original Pythagorean theorem problem, 240 squared, that's at some point, remember the boat is going to be 240 feet from the dock, so we have 240 squared plus y squared, that's that 144, and we can find the length of the rope at this particular instant. Squaring these two pieces out, then adding them together, and taking the square root, we have the length of the rope is the square root of 78,336. In all honesty, I'm not worried about simplifying this. That square root is an irrational number, so I want to leave it just like this because all I want to do is I want to plug that into r right here. And that's exactly what I've done here. So we have 2 times r that we just found times dr dt, which is negative 4, and that's that dr dt from earlier given to us in the problem. Now you may notice that I'm leaving off my units of measurement here, and a lot of times when I do related rates problems, I do include my unit of measurement. But it's going to be okay. I mean, we don't have to write those down. And we know this thing right here is some length 
So if we're trying to find the rate of change of this length, it is going to be in feet per second because we haven't changed anything with feet and the only measurement of time we have is per second. So our answer will be feet per second. Therefore, multiplying these two together, we get 480 dx dt, and then taking the two times a negative four, we have negative eight square root of all of that stuff. Finally, we can divide by 480 to get dx dt by itself. And dividing that in the calculator, we get dx dt is approximately negative 4.66 feet per second if we round to the nearest hundredth. And again, I didn't have my units of measurement up here, but since everything was given to us in feet, and the rate that we were given, the rate of change of the rope, was feet per second, this answer is going to have the same rate as well. Now obviously the number's different, but the rate, feet per second, remains the same. Now what does negative 4.66 feet per second mean? That means that this length is getting shorter. That's what the negative means. However, if we're just still talking about the speed of something, how fast is something moving in? We could say something like this as a sentence for our answer. The boat is getting closer to the dock, that's that negative, that length is getting shorter, at a rate of 4.66 feet per second. Notice I left off the negative here because the way I'm wording this sentence is actually taking care of that negative. This length is getting shorter, which means the boat is getting closer. So be careful with how you write your answer as a complete sentence. That's a common mistake I see students make. They'll say something like this, but then they'll come and put the negative there, and you're kind of like double negating yourself or what have you. And there you have it, a related rates problem that deals with a rope on a pulley. See if you have a fishing line problem and try to tackle it, and you'll notice that it's pretty similar to the way we tackle things here. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped. Be sure to check out our YouTube channel for more videos. Links to our social media are in the description below.